Mr. Ramesh Damani is joining in uh, right now. And, uh, you know, when you talk about Indian stock markets, the one, if there's one person who springs to mind, it's uh, Mr. Ramesh Damani. And, uh, you know, that's the name which most resonates with viewers, our viewers, at least. Mr. Damani, thanks very much for coming on. Great having you here. I want to ask you, how, do, how would you rate the budget? What was, uh, would you say it was good? It was above, it was better than good? How was it? I, uh, thank you, Prashant. Thank you for a very nice introduction. Uh, you know, we were going in expecting a big bank budget. We got a big, bold budget. So I would say that uh, it delivered on a lot of front. If you particularly look at, are we creating, is the budget helping us create a more equal opportunity society? Uh, is the budget laying out the intellectual architecture of what we expect India to look in the next three to five years? I think the budget scored very heavily on all those points. So this is probably the highest rating I've given any budget over the last decade or so, I would give it about eight and a half on ten. Eight and a half on ten. Uh, I know I'm nitpicking, but for the RBI, how would this mean? The RBI response function on interest rates, uh, you know, fiscal deficit being controlled, <laughs> delayed consolidation. It was necessary, all for it. But what would be the RBI response function? It would mean, of course, that uh, there would be a slowdown in how fast interest rates go down. Mm. But I think it's all but inevitable that interest rates will go down. It's just the pace that now to be determined. Mm. The fact that we are trading at historic uh, levels of interest rate compared to the rest of the world with the currency now very stable means it's inevitable they'll go down. I think I would be surprised if they would at least the first leg happens in the next few months and then there's a holding period. But you know, I think it might delay it a little bit, but it's not going to be uh, postponed indefinitely. You know, uh, the FM said that uh, for of all his net tax measures, the net impact is that he'll collect about 15,000 odd crores or so. Is it cutting it too close in terms of revenue generation, uh, Mr. Damani? In terms of, you know, if oil were to go up, who knows, uh, significantly, oil prices. Uh, are we back to worrying about how to manage the balance sheet? The oil prices go up with a huge negative. That would be a problem if it went beyond $75, $80. That would be a huge problem. Mm. In, in terms of benefits to the consumer, we're already taxing it, so the, the fall is not going directly to the consumers. It's helping corporate India. It's probably helping uh, you know the government of India, but not necessarily the citizens of India. So that would be something, of course, that you worry about. But if you assume a GDP growth of 8%, 8.5%, there's going to be a natural buoyancy in tax collection. So I think even though he's done a lot of giveaways in or reductions in corporate tax and other taxes, exemptions for individuals, I think the buoyancy will help him uh, probably overshoot his target by more than 15,000 crores for the additional collection. Right. Uh, how, how do you, are you see, uh, would you say the full impact, you know, Saturday is working for us now today, but a, f a lot of foreign investors aren't in the market. I'm assuming the big ones would be there. But would you say uh, Nifty is right now is up about three quarters of a percent? We're seeing the full impact uh, of... Uh, of, of, of what they call all market participants. So you think we are yet to see the full impact. We'll only see that on Monday when global markets are trading as well. Yeah, well, the, the two points in that, uh, Prashant. First, of course, is that ITC has been a big down. It's down 10% or almost record volumes. Yeah. About 5 crore shares of ITC have been traded between BSE and NSE. You remove the impact of that on the index, the index will be very sharply positive. And yes, you're right, the devil is in the details. Sunday, we'll all get back, read the tech speech of the budget, analyze the impact on various companies, talk to managements. I think Monday will be a fresh look at the market with very good activity and very good volumes. But my sense is when all the dust settles and all the tea leaves have been read, we would find that the bull market that began 18 months ago is well and intact. And there's a lot in this budget that will propel the market higher. And I see no reason to fear the budget uh, beginning next week. You know, uh, since you bring up ITC, do you have any view on ITC? It's a pretty meaningful cut, about 35 rupees or so on ITC. <coughs> and it's not recovering. Usually, it sees it, a cut it after an excise hike, but it gets bought into today. Not, uh, it's not happening. For the last two quarters, ITC has been reporting that uh, demand for cigarettes, which is generally considered inelastic, has become elastic. As the duties have risen, people have actually cut back on smoking. Now, that's a great social good, but bad necessarily for the company. So I think this additional hike is going to impact the, uh, them negatively. Remember, I think almost 75-80% of the profits, or maybe 95% of the profits, 
come from the tobacco business. So I think the years of, you know, the free pass through, the consumers would smoke despite higher duties is perhaps now over. So there is a challenge faced by ITC management, not only to regain the profitability of the tobacco business, but to move the FMCG business into profitability. Mm. So it's all clear for the uh, bull market, Mr. Damani, you would say? And we are pretty much in a bull market. Small corrections, but max 5-7% five, five, uh, on every, every few months. But that's about it. Uh, very strongly in a bull market, right? I think so. I mean, I think no evidence to shake that. The bull markets don't end uh, when people are predicting bull markets are going to end. There's a lot of anecdotal evidence. There will be a huge amount of gossip on the market. Huge trading volumes. Bad quality companies will, will go up. Here have you seen the good quality companies go up, the Bosch's, the Iker's, the MRF's of the world. Uh, the leadership in the market is intact. Retail has still not come back in a big way. So I think this bull market has legs and has uh, fairly substantial legs. So I think we're just uh, uh, perhaps scared by the rise in the market as it's gone up uh, from 16,000 levels to almost 30,000 levels. But I think other than that, uh, all the internal indicators that we follow suggest that uh, the market has to use the meme of the time, Ache Din Ahead. <laughs> yeah, we didn't hear that today, but uh, I guess can't get very far away from that. So, but the nature and nature of the bull market also is uh, going to be what we've seen. Big gets bigger, right? That's what we've seen. Big continues to get bigger and bigger. <coughs> One thing I've noticed that every bull market is bigger than the previous bull market. Mm. There's more money to be made, more opportunities to be made. And if you look at some of the provisions, they want to, the, the BGP understands that India is slow in manufacturing. So we're not going to create that many manufacturing jobs, even through a push and make in India. So they're actually going out encouraging an entrepreneurial culture, mm. encouraging self-retirement. So all these things will actually add up to job creation, uh, maybe in the uh, self-employed sector. So, you know, I think there's you know, reason to suspect that as people realize returns in gold is dwindling, returns in real estate are dwindling, people will find investing in equities more attractive. With the corporate tax rate coming down, uh, many large companies will report better earnings over the next few years. So it still adds up to a, a really good scenario for Indian equities. Uh, there's no reason to uh, you know, believe that this bull market is on its last leg. Mr. Damani, thanks very much uh, for that. Great talking to you. Appreciate you coming on uh, today. Thank you.